or not I like it, I'm going to ask you if you like it based <laughs> on what I have to show you. So this is the Let's electric see. razor for men. It's a FICO beer trimmer. I, you, come on. <laughs> Let me see that beautiful face. Yes. Did you use a beer trimmer today, Maddie? I did actually a little bit on the beer trimmer. Uh, but yeah. for me, I get very sensitive skin and there's this misnomer with uh, anyone who shaves that electric is never going to give you nearly as close a shave as a manual. And that's mm -hmm. true. But if you spend a little bit of time on it, you get the same shave. You don't get ingrown hairs. You don't get the, the redness. You don't cut yourself. You don't walk out of the bathroom and wish your daughter a good morning. And there's blood on your face that you didn't realize, which is just nasty and awkward. And with this, right. I think it's a good Father's Day gift. I mean, you, you obviously have touched faces that have been cleanly shaven. I feel like that's a nice thing from time to time. I agree. A good Father's Day gift, that very special guy in your life. What I like about it, Matt, is that, listen, I love your clean shaven look. You always look so handsome. But if you just want to touch up as well, touch up on the go, I really love that. So if you just want to clean up your beard, you can definitely use it. The fact that you can travel with it is great because if you are going to visit someone, then you can just take it with you. But it makes it easy to use. So I would say, let's say you're introducing someone who's like, you know, going through puberty 14, 15, and they're just starting to shave. This would be a good one. To I, I had that when I was tw when I was twelve. It was the end of grade when five. No one told me what was going on. Yeah, okay. actually, even a little before that, grade five, I started to discover life, and it no one no one was ready for me. So it was really exactly. awkward. My dad actually got me my first electric razor, and yep. I, I wish it was this. Yeah, and it's a it's a really good product to have. Again, I think it's just about like grooming, cleaning. Now, do you use it just for your beard? Do you get also in the ears sometimes? If you get a little bit of hair there, do you use it to shape up in the back as well? I like the uh, actual, the back where the, the back of my neck is. This this area right here is very difficult. You, yeah. I can't do that with an electric razor. I will slit my neck. But this is yeah. something too graphic. I know, you're welcome. But this is something <laughs> where it, it's not great around the sideburns because it's rounded. Mm -hmm. You actually still need a manual razor to, to help with that. But everywhere else on your face, if you have, um, I, I have like, depending on the day, a double or a triple chin, it goes beautifully no around way. all of your faces. It great. It depends how, how much bubble tea and saturation <laughs> I've had. But it goes, it goes into all of the areas. These areas are very difficult to shave. Yeah. That's where all the cuts happen. But because this is rounded, it shapes up to your face. You also have that LCD display so you know exactly how much time is left, Mako. If you give it a thumbs up, I will give it one as well. And then it gets two. I give it an enthusiastic thumbs up. I love, love these beard trimmers. It just keeps you, keeps you nice and clean. I love that on the guy. It looks so handsome, so attractive. Excellent. Well, it's been an honor to share a screen with you. I will, I will let you take it from here, but um, thank you for being back in my life. It was awesome. <laughs> thank you, Maddie. That was so much fun. I've missed you so 